Hello and welcome to our show. I'm Francisco Cáceres. We need a new president. We need someone who cares about people and who will lift up the condition and the spirits of the American people. And that's going to be Joe Biden. I hear what you're saying, Senator, but I also have to remind you that during the Democratic presidential debates, one of the most memorable moments happened when you clashed with Biden over racial issues. Given everything that has happened this year, do you still think he's the right choice to lead the country in the middle of the fight for racial equality? I do. I know what's in his heart. Last Thursday, President Trump suggested that the task force should look into injecting disinfectants and UV rays into the human body to treat the coronavirus. He later said he was being sarcastic, but there's reports of hundreds of calls to emergency hotlines across the country asking about it. Dr. Fauci, what do you make of the president's comments? Well, I can tell you one thing for sure. This is not something that people should try. Mr. King, your father died fighting for equal rights for black Americans in 1968. How do you feel when you see that in 2020, African Americans like George Floyd are still dying in the hands of police? I feel beyond devastated. Quiero terminar brevemente preguntándole sobre sus aspiraciones políticas. Este año usted tiene 30 años y no puede ser considerada a la vicepresidencia. Joe Biden ha dicho que él quiere llevar una compañera de fórmula mujer. Pero en 2024 usted va a tener 35 años y su nombre ya se está mencionando. Entonces, la pregunta es, ¿está en sus planes buscar la presidencia de los Estados Unidos? Uh, ahora no. So, essentially what we have here is a mock-up of the International Space Station. So, this is in real size, basically. It is, yep. Can I touch it? Oh yeah, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. What do your kids say that daddy is an astronaut? Uh, you know, I don't let them say that too much. <laughs> <laughs> How come? Uh, well, I, I try to keep it private. But you realize that if you become the first man to go to Mars, that anonymity will disappear. Yeah, I mean, I, I realize I'll, I'll lose a little bit of privacy. So have you done this wine class and this cooking class and tell me you made some delicious pasta? Oh, I have. The pasta was amazing. I never thought that I could make pasta with my own, very own hands. I'm not a great cook, let me tell you. On your smartphone, you get the Google Arts and Culture app, and then you go through the different tours. You put it in, and then voila, you're able to visit the Taj Mahal. There you go. It's oh, are cool. you seeing it? I'm doing it. I see the Taj Mahal right here. Honestly, preparing for this segment has been the most fun I've had during quarantine. I was going to say, this is not a bad assignment. There should be a Kathy Lee and Hoda and Chanel day, you don't go. you think? Cheers to that. Um, oh, mm. there you go. OK. That's the best don't one waste, I've ever had. Don't waste the take I'm... you out on the, on the track um, right after this. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's our show for today. Thanks so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.